This is the Sunday School lesson for May the 14th in the year 2023, and it's Moses' sin. Most of us think about Moses and thinking he is just such a powerful, wonderful man, and he was. But in this story, he really messes up. Let me tell you what happened. So he was, um, he was born, and they laid him in that basket, and he became... Um, living at the palace with a princess, remember? And was raised as her son and had a good education and had everything that you could ever want. And then he became a man. And one day he went out to see the Hebrew people because he knew he was a Hebrew. He knew that he wasn't an Egyptian. And he went out to see the Hebrew people. And when he got out there, he saw an Egyptian beating up on a Hebrew man, treating him really poorly and hurting the Hebrew man. And Moses' heart went out to the Hebrew man, to the slave that was being abused. And he started fighting with the Egyptian. He looked around. He looked this way. He looked this way. He looked that way. He didn't see anybody around. He thought that what he was doing was completely okay because nobody was watching him. And he killed the Egyptian. He killed him. But he thought nobody knew about it. You know, God always knows what we do, doesn't he? There's never been a time that you were outside of his vision where he couldn't see what you were doing. And when we sin, God sees it. And he saw Moses killing that man and burying him in the sand. Next day, Moses came out to visit the Hebrew people again. And he saw two Hebrews who belonged to God fighting with each other. And he said, hey, why are you hurting your, your fellow Hebrew? You guys shouldn't be fighting with each other. What's happening here? And the one man said, so what are you going to do? Are you going to kill me and hide me in the sands like you did the Egyptian? <sighs> Wait a minute. Even though nobody seemed to be around to see it, the people know that I killed that man. Pharaoh's going to find out that I killed an Egyptian. <sighs> and so Moses ran away. He ran to another country called Midian. He was 40 years old. And he stopped living with the Egyptians. He stopped living in the palace. He stopped caring about what was happening to the Hebrews. He just ran off to start a new life. When he got to the new place, it was called Midian, and he sat down by a well, and he was watching what was happening. Well, there were seven daughters, and the seven daughters had one daddy. His name was Jethro or Ruel. It calls them both names in the Bible. And Jethro had sent his daughters to the well to pull up the water and put the water in the troughs and let the sheep drink it. But when they got there, some other shepherds came and wouldn't let them get close to the water and shoved them away. Well, Moses wasn't going to put up with that. Moses pushed the other men away and he watered the sheep. He let the girls get in to get their water. He helped them water the sheep and then they went home and they said to their dad, he said, well, well, why did you come home so early today? You've never come this early before. And they said, well, there was an Egyptian down there. And he chased away the guys that always bother us. And he drew the water out of the well for us. And he watered the sheep. And the dad said, and why did you leave him down at the well? Go tell him to come for supper. So they went and told you. And they went and told Moses to come for supper, and he did come for supper. And Moses ended up staying with Jethro at his house. 
and marrying one of his daughters, whose name was Zipporah. So, and um, they had a little boy, and they named him Gershom, because Gershom means a stranger in a foreign land, because that is what Moses was, a stranger in a foreign land. And then the last verse of that section says, God heard the slaves down in Egypt crying out for help. And God remembered the promises he'd made to Abraham and Isaac and Jacob. And God cared about his people. Let's pray. Dear Father God, the memory verse is, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. It comes from Romans 3.23. All of us do bad things. There is not one of us who has never told a lie, who has never been mean, who has always been kind. And we all fall short of the plan that you have for us. Even Moses, he killed a man. Help us, O Lord, to, um, to strive to do the stuff that's right, but to know that none of us deserve heaven because we do sin. And it's only by what Jesus did on the cross that we have the opportunity to choose you. In Jesus' name, amen.